Welcome back to yet another book unhaul. Yes, I had no idea that it would uh, take me this short of a time to come back at you with another one, but I've just been looking through the whole of my library, just seeing what books I could possibly take out of it, you know, I suppose to just uh, account for more space and such, and perhaps maybe even prepare for the tour. Um, last time I showed you just a whole bunch of books. Too many, I think. But it's good that I'm getting them out of my library, because really, uh, I am supposed to be reducing, and I'm finally doing that. Um, and as, it, as I said, I will most likely donate most of those to the local bookshop uh, in my area, and will perhaps get store credit for them. I have a couple here. Not as many as last time, but I will, I suppose, uh, show them to you, just, as I said, to get an idea of what types of literature I'm into, and also just to tease you as to what you might see in the library. So first, straight away, here's the bin book. The only bin book here, Ragtime by E.L. Doctorow. And obviously the reason why this is a bin book is because, well, there, the cover just fell off, so... And I have a better copy of it, so that's going straight in the bin. Uh, we have only one highlighted or underlined or just generally annotated book. And I have a copy of this. This is just a, a spare that I had just kicking around here and that I really did not need at all. So I figured I may as well get rid of it a uh, Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger, obviously a classic uh, coming-of-age story. That's all you kind of see. Yeah, here. I have a clean copy, so I don't need this. Okay, so these next few books, are, I'll, I either have uh, these books already, or I'll probably upgrade the editions of them. So, uh, we'll just, uh, I'll just show you here. Uh, first one here is uh, Volpone, or The Fox, a play by Ben Johnson. Uh, I have a collection of Johnson's plays, uh, of which this is a part. So, this standalone edition is of no use to me. If I want to read the play, I could easily just thumb through that collection there. And you'll see it in the library tour. But uh, I don't need this at all, so that's going to the bookshop. Next here is kind of a, I don't know, a strange little assortment of stories. This is Alaska Stories by a whole bunch of different people there. You know, there's Jack London and John Muir and who else is in here? whole bunch of people I've never heard of. <laughs> and I really, I had this thing for years. I probably will never read this. So that's going to the bookshop for someone else to enjoy. This one here, I might get rid of this one, and I might not, because the books by this author are so rare to come by in my area that to sell one off, is basically like I would never come across another copy of this again. But the reason why I'm getting rid of this is because I you will see in this next book haul that I do, yes, haul, in which I haul books that I've recently acquired, uh, that I did get a better copy of this book. And that is uh, The Aunt Story by Patrick White. A pretty good novel. By Patrick White, I must say, I'd recommend it. Uh, it's a th the copy I have is thinner and less bulky and such, and it's a penguin. So, obviously, as you know, penguins uh, trump or basically surpass any other additions to me. So this may well go to the bookshop, or I might keep it. I don't know but I'll probably just get rid of it. 
Next here is uh, Death in Venice and Seven Other Stories by Tomo Shiman. Uh, simple reason why I'm getting rid of this. I have all the stories in here in a bigger collection by Tomo Shiman. And I don't need this. So, bookshop, that goes too. Uh, we've got another copy of the Iliad here by Homer, and I don't need a million copies of the Iliad in my library. This isn't marked up at all, but I just don't need it. I really don't. I have a really nice Eastern Press edition. I'll show all my Eastern Press books one of these days, but those are some of my favorites. And have a better, slimmer paperback of it. So, and this is a penguin. I do like penguins, but this one isn't really the best looking out of them. I don't know. Now I'm, uh, I'm trying to decide exactly if I should keep this one as opposed to my other edition. Because hang on, let me get my other edition. Hopefully these books don't fall over. Because here's my other edition of the Iliad I have. You can see it's a bit more, it's a bit used. There's pen marks all over it, the cover that is, but the text itself is clean and it is written in prose. So I'm not sure which I like better uh, this format or uh, this format, which, oh, they're both in prose. Huh. Interesting. I don't know. So that's a toss-up. Uh, I'll have to uh, do an update as to which one I've gotten rid of. Well, you'll see the tour, and you'll know which one I've gotten rid of. So, yeah. Okay, next one here. This is the second to last one. Uh, it's a novel by Alan Patton, or Payton, however you say his name. Uh, Cry the Beloved Country. Uh, this is a big, bulky uh, Scribner edition, and... I'm looking for the Penguin edition that's really thin and is one of the first 3,000 penguins printed. So I don't want this anymore. And this isn't underlined or anything. It's just I want to upgrade the copy. So that's what I'll do. And this last book here, I don't know if I will give this to the bookshop or not because it is autographed. By the author but I don't know if this is worth anything <laughs> to be completely honest with you uh, because this author is basically unknown I think this is like a self-published effort maybe I can't tell it might be professional uh, circumspect press so I'm not sure if it's self-published or not but uh, Anyway, uh, Gifts Not Yet Given and Other Tales of the Holidays by Kurgan Edwards Stout. Uh, I'll show you the signature. So I might put this on eBay or not. I don't know. And then it's just like a little, a little bonus, I suppose. I'll show you all the bookmarks I found in these things because I like bookmarks very much. I typically I would use a note card or something as a bookmark. I'd use anything as a bookmark, really. Uh, they don't have to be particularly fancy, but I do like uh, bookmarks uh, if they happen to look pretty well. So I suppose I'll show them here. Uh, these are all the bookmarks I found in those things. Obviously, this one. Thank you from that last video I did. This one is obviously, I think from a Goodwill form or something like that. And I just cut it out because you know that it's just me. And yeah, and then next here we have uh, the little Jesus of Prague. I believe that's who this is. 
So yeah, there's that there. A little nice religious card. Uh, Joy, the seven steps to a happier pet. <laughs> so I don't have any pets at the moment, so this will be of no use to me, but I do like the look of this bookmark. And then finally, um, the one that was found in Cry the Beloved Country is this one, uh, which is very peculiar. Christian Books and Veggie Foods in Adventist Book Center in Glendale, California, which is about an hour away from my residence. So I might, and there's, for some reason, there's a sunset calendar for 2015, so this is quite old. So I might venture down there and see what they have. Anyway, that was a quick little another unhaul. Uh, this is obviously not as long as the last one, thankfully. I hope you enjoyed it and perhaps get an idea as to what types of books you might see in this library. And also get a, a sneak preview into my literary tastes. I will take these all to the bookshop sometime soon. I don't know when. I've not taken the previous load to the bookshop yet, but I will in due time, probably by the end of this week. And I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you soon. Have a good day.